Today, I'll be eating every Little Debbie treat. Did you know that Little Debbie is a real person? Not only is she real, she's alive. She's freaking alive right now. When she was a child, her grandfather, who was the food manufacturer or someone high up, said she was the perfect face and vibe of Little Debbie snacks. So they put her image on it, and the rest is history. She's not only still alive, she still actually is with the company. She's the vice executive vice president. She's on the board of directors, and it's pretty sick. We're going to eat 43 of the treats. That's all the treats, plus some ice creams. And as always, everything I do is brought to you by my Not Too Hot Sauces. You know, Little Debbie, what about Big Keith? of not too hot Keith, you know, it's not so different. She is on it. Now her family chose to put her family member on, but I just chose to put myself on my, my little bottle. So look at that. Oh, there you are, there you are. Lil Debbie, I'm Big Keith. Uh, I can't believe that Deborah is real. It's really fantastic. We got a lot to eat, but before we get to that, I want to do some thank yous. We got our patrons over. Some of our patrons are helping us moderate our Twitch stream. If you're watching this live on YouTube and you need better captioning, Twitch has slightly better captioning, so you can head on over there. It's uh, twitch.com slash tryguys. But if you're here, we love to have you here as well. Every so often, we're going to do some little Q&As from people. We also have polls where you can interrupt the flow of things, make it dumber, make it weirder. It's, up to, it's really in your hands. I don't even know what the polls are. I have no idea what could happen. I got this cute little shirt. Little Debbie has a snack for you. This is official merch. Very salacious, <laughs> I feel like. Very hot, Deb. Way to go. Also, Deb, if you're watching, make sure you like and subscribe. We need every person we can get here, OK? Uh, another shout out, right now is pilot month. We have six more pilots coming out this month, although some of them drip into April. We had the amazing uh, trolley problems last week. We hope you liked it. If you haven't seen it, it's a great time. Go check it out. We also have one coming out this Saturday that's my personal favorite. Don't wanna you know, spoil it too much, but I'll say you'll have to cook your way out. What's that mean? It'll make sense. Also, if you check in the link in the description below, there's a link where you can uh, join us because we are going to be doing a live Eat the Menu tour. That's right, Eat the Menu live on stage, the belt live on stage, you coming on stage and eating with me. That is gonna happen sometime in the fall, but we have a little link down below. You can put your email on it so you'll be the first to know about tickets. We literally got some confirmation of the dates. Nothing is solid yet, but it's forming together. It's gonna be six. We're gonna go to cities, do a lot of the top specialties from your places. If we're in the Midwest, we're gonna get some stuff from Culver's. From the East Coast, we're gonna get some Philly cheesesteaks, stuff like that. You get it, it's gonna be a blast, so check that out. We also, next month, have Eat the Menu Michelin season. We're doing four different restaurants of ascending Michelin star ratings. It's gonna be amazing, we've been shooting them, we got two more to shoot next week. I've never eaten so deliciously in my life. I wanna thank you, the audience, for helping me get to this place. And to pay my dues, I will now eat a bunch of processed sugar for your entertainment and joy. All right, well let's do it. What's first? We've got ourselves a beautiful little pastries and brownies. Ah, oh, look at this. Is this not darling? Like a little train. Oh, here come the brownies. <laughs> here they come. Choo choo. Choo choo. Here they come. Here they come. Ah, oh, these are cute. We have these little mini brownies. On the side it says, do you know the Muffin Man? It has the entire rhyme. The mini brownies. They smell good. Mmm, good brownie flavor, perhaps a bit dry, but not as dry as I'd expect. And the fact that they give you, how many are in here? Four? This one got a little mousse, got mousse up. Mmm, so good, chocolatey. I love these little brownies at parties because you can eat like seven of them. You just keep going by the dish and just having, oh, I'll just have one of these. And you, if there's different people at the line every time, they just think you're there for the first time. They don't know how much you're eating. Only you know your little secret. I love brownies, they're probably my favorite sweet. What a way to start, thank you Desiree. A delicious beginning to this. I love brownies so much. They're the perfect little treat. I love box brownies. Don't come to me saying, I made homemade brownies from scratch. I don't want that shit. I want one of them boxes. The Betty Crocker, whatever, I don't care. Or those little guys, those are delicious. Yum, yum, yum. Let's see what's next. Ooh, Nutty Buddies. I'm sort of a nutty buddy. I'm sort of your little nutty bud. <laughs> hey, he's my nutty buddy, Keith. Here comes Keith. <laughs> Here comes Keith. I do like these things. The nutty buddy. The nutty buddy. <laughs> I do like these. We've had them in the office. And around the time that we were doing Romeo and Juliet last year, I ate too many of them. 
I thought these were the best snack I've ever had and I ate them every day and then one day I was like, I don't like these anymore. The Natty Betty. Mmm. Oh yeah. Crunchy. I love a wafer. You know? Mmm. It's too bad that eating wafers doesn't make you waferishly thin. Maybe if it does though. I don't know. That guy's some kind of wafish. <laughs> It's good. Mmm. Crunchy, chocolatey, airy, light. Great peanut butter flavor. Great chocolate flavor. Honestly, it's like a crunchy little airy Reese's. Mmm. I love them. I'm back on them. I'm back on them. <sighs> Romeo and Juliet was long enough that I'm back on them. Mmm. Bye bye. See you later. Mmm. What's next? What could be next? What could be next in our little treat? <gasps> Corn dogs. <laughs> What are you? What are you, peanut butter crunch? What did I just have? Peanut butter, peanut, peanut butter crunch bars. Peanut butter crunch bars, what the hell are you? I've never seen you before, Debbie. Peanut butter crunch bars, they look like corn dogs. But they don't look like corn dogs here. They, they look like corn dogs here. They don't look like corn dogs here. How are these gonna be different from what I just had? Yeah. There's, there's always cardboard in the food. You know, what's with all that? Crunch bars. Oh, okay, okay. It's almost a Butterfinger. Yep, <laughs> almost. It's very Butterfinger reminiscent. It's got a little, nice little butter, butter peanut butter filling, but otherwise it's just a cookie, chocolate and peanut butter. Mmm. It tastes very similar to the wafer one, but more like what Bart Simpson would want, if you catch my reference. What's next? That's pretty good. I don't know, I don't know, maybe I do like that more than the wafers. It feels more like a candy bar. Spin wheels! Big wheel, keep on spinning. That is not the lyric. Okay, we got the spin wheels. What are you, a little cinnamon? This is like a cinnamon bun, pecan, Pecan spin wheels. I'm always spinning my wheels, trying to figure out what to do next. What's gonna be the next big thing? Oh, look, this feels gummy. Mmm, <laughs> it feels funny. Oh, it smells good. It kind of smells like a honey bun. All right, the spin wheels. Mmm, okay. Soft, cinnamon. -y. Hmm, lots of cinnamon flavor. Perhaps a touch too much, a touch too much. I don't get any pecan. I don't feel any pecans in there. I like how the layers come off though. I think this could be fun to eat for a kid. It's kind of like those flowers, she loves me, she loves me not, but you get to eat the flower. Yeah, this is, I think it's a fun to eat, decent treat, too much cinnamon. Not enough love, Deb. Not enough love in that one. All right. Now this is a, this is an elementary school favorite gas station classic, the honey buns. These things I hear you're supposed to microwave them. They got all ooey gooey and gross. But people love the honey buns. The honey bun. I never. This was never my favorite, but I have eaten them when there was no other option before. These are also available at inexpensive hotels, uh, continental breakfasts. You know, you've been in one of those. A little Super 8 action. No Motel 6, anybody? Oh, I've stayed in one before. More than once. All right, a honey bun. Smells pretty good. Tastes like nothing. Tastes like sweet nothing. There's no cinnamon in this one. I guess it didn't appetize it. Just appetize honey. It's making me salivate, though. It's making me salivate. Salivacious. That's kind of boring, isn't it? I can't believe people love these. This kind of tastes like nothing. You like these, Caitlin? Yeah. Checks out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Checks out, Caitlin. <laughs> Caitlin doesn't like steak. Ever since you told me that, I've never forgotten it. Never forgotten it. You live in America. We're the steak capital of the world. We, I don't know. 
<laughs> we sure do have a lot of cows here. Yeah, that was fine. It was a honey bun, not a number one. What do we got here? Oh boy. Man, this is a lot of action's happening early in this episode. Holy cow, this is already getting exciting. Huh, audience, can you believe this? The cosmic brownies are already here. We should have saved this for the end. This is what keeps people watching. They're gonna see this here, my take. They're gonna be out of here, baby. They're gonna be gone. The cosmic brownie. I do like how this is clearly advertised to stoners, but sold mostly to children. And I think children pretend they're high <laughs> when they eat these. I can't open this. Oh. Okay, ugh. It just looks like a, a toy remote for a toddler, you know? Doesn't it look like a little toy remote you give a child, like a fake phone? The Cosmic Brownie. Well, it's dry as hell. But it's not as bad as I remember. You know what? I'm gonna walk back my hatred. I think the flavor's pretty okay. It's too thick though. It's very fudgy. Not a fudge. I guess I like the little crunch on top. There must be a, a weed brand that sells cosmic brownies that are like weedy, right? Like we live in LA, I've probably even seen one. It's okay. It's not as good as a normal brownie. It's not as bad as I thought it was. And I kind of like the little crunch. Crunch is kind of fun. You know what? I was wrong! It's pretty okay! <laughs> pretty okay. Good. Yeah, pretty okay. Good. Okay. Guys, there is going to be a poll now. So we're gonna cut you an ad, but before that, you're gonna see a little poll during this ad. And the way to answer the poll, you have to write it exactly as the poll suggests. So spaces, capitalization, etc. Whatever the poll answer says, you have to type that exact thing into the chat. It will then go out into the internet, through the satellites, through space, where a big giant will tabulate all your answers. And they'll choose the one that's right, and that'll be sent to Desiree. <laughs> and Desiree will add that poll into this show. I don't I have no idea what you're seeing right now. You're gonna see the poll, we're gonna take a little break, and we'll be right back. See you soon on The Belt. Ah, <sighs> and we're back. All right, now it's time for us to see what those poll answers were. We got cookies and pies. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. Cookies and pies. It is pie day. Now I, lot of, I saw a lot of people online being like, I bet Keith is doing a belt of every pie. That would have been a good idea. <laughs> and when I scheduled this a month ago, I didn't see what the date was. But also we've done an eat the menu every pie, so it would be redundant. I wanna give you new stuff, okay? That was like four years ago, maybe even longer. So let's see, what, what was our poll answer? That was like four years ago. Milk variety. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna be dipping our stuff in various not milk milks. We've got the oatmeal cream pie. This is a classic. I love the oatmeal cream pies. Let's get into this. Let's get the nice product shot. Let's pull, put it by my face. The oatmeal cream pies. And we're gonna have a bite, and I'm gonna have a bite dunked into whatever milk this is. Oat milk. Ooh, oat milk on its own, not good. Oat milk and cereal, incredible, but by itself, bleh. The oatmeal cream pie. Oh, I get it, because it's oatmeal cream pie. Uh -huh. Oat on oat. Oat on oat. Oat, 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 oat! <laughs> Cat calling various types of grains. Mmm, this is so good. Chewy. Reminds me of college. We used to eat these all the time in college. They were so good. Ugh, I feel like they're smaller than they used to be. Or I got bigger since college, which I don't think that's how life works. These were a lot bigger, yeah? Weren't these bigger? I'll put it by my face for scale. Okay, let's dunk it in the oat. Oat on oat. Hmm. Yeah, just makes it a little bit more moist. Honestly, kind of made it taste like boogers. <laughs> you know, whatever those taste like. <laughs> oh, come on. Your mouth is connected to your nose. You literally, when you like cough up gunk, those are boogers. Where do you think that came from? Okay, let's move on to Star Crunch. <laughs> Star Crunch, which I honestly have never heard of in my life. I've never heard of this. Honestly, the audacity to call it Star Crunch and have it be the shape of a circle is wild. Star Crunch! It is a chocolate with caramel and cri crip, cri 
I can't even speak. There's too much gunk in my mouth. Um, it's crisp rice cake with caramel and chocolate. Whoa. Where's the, the cocoa rice krispies cereal? It didn't have a name. Not Smacks, that was something else. Cocoa Pebbles. Co Cocoa Pebbles is the wafer. It's the one that was just... Maybe it's Cocoa Pebbles. Yeah, it was Cocoa Pebbles. Smells like Cocoa Pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like a chocolate bakery. Let's have it. Whoa! I thought it was gonna be all crunch. It's chewy. Do I taste the star? Do I taste the galaxy reference? Mm. I like the chew. Chew's almost like gum. Caramelly. It's got decent, fla decent flavor. I wish it was crunchier. It's crunchy and chewy at the same time. I think there's a great market for that. But honestly, I've never seen these before in my life, so they can't be a top seller. Not bad. But not better than anything else I've had so far. Buy Star Crunch. Also, the graft design on that box sucked. All right. Fudge round. Let me hear you say fudge rounds. Fudge rounds. Thank you. All right. We got fudge rounds and we're dipping it in soy milk. Get your jokes out now. <laughs> fudge rounds. These are smaller too. These are itty bitty. Look at this. I can barely even pinch it. It's like the size of a quarter. Fudge. <laughs> fudge rounds. Well, <laughs> uh oh. Fudge rounds and soy milk. Oh. Oh, take a hit of that fudge round. What a name, too, fudge rounds. Mm. We had these in college, too. But these, they were the not every day. Oatmeal cream pies, they were breakfast. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna dip it in the soy milk. Mmm. Mm. Honestly, the fudge round, if you want a brownie, get a fudge round. It tastes like a brownie. It's chewier, it's moist, it's delicious. It went great with that soy milk. Just moistened it right up. Mm. Fudge round is absolutely in the lead right now, and I'm happy to hear it because it was my favorite um, up until now. So it's still up there. What's up next? Chocolate chip cream pies. Chocolate chip cream pies. Chocolate chip cream pies. Anybody in here? Is this their horse? Didn't think so. All right. <laughs> chocolate chip cream pies. Let's try this chocolate chip cream pie. It looks bad. I don't know why these chocolate chip cookies don't look good, but they don't look good. I mean, look, can you see them? Can you see that? It doesn't look good, does it? Look at my fingers. They're like a little spider. <laughs> Ooh, imagine the cookie is the body of the spider. My fingers are its legs. I guess they would more than move like this. My legs wouldn't come off of its body. All right, let's try chocolate chip cream pie. Mmm. Okay. Not that bad. It kind of tastes like cookies and milk because of the cream. Mmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Chips Ahoy, the red bag, the soft kind, with a Oreo cream in between. That's what this tastes like. It's honestly better than the red bag one, but it's like most similar to that flavor. Yeah, yeah I don't like the red bags. And growing up, I did. And then I had them recently, they got worse or I got better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which. I'll never be sure. Those are okay. Um, what do we got here? Marshmallow pies. See, we got some pies. It's pie day, we got marshmallow pies. Can't imagine a worse pie. <laughs> oh, these are banana. Marshmallow pie with banana. Marshmallow pie with banana. Let's try it. What kind of milk we got? Coconut milk. <laughs> now, there, there's an outlier. <laughs> Let's try this little guy. Let's try this little pie. Marshmallow pie, banana. I like banana flavored things more than most. Whoa, this smells like a runts candy. Let's go for it. The texture is awful. It's like dry. It's so dry, the marshmallow is so dry too. But, oh, I mean, the banana flavor is not good either. But let's dip it in the coconut milk. This might taste like kind of nice, you know? Maybe it'll taste like Vietnamese or something. Nope. 
I don't know how, it rejected all the milk. It didn't absorb a damn drop. It like rejected it like those, um, those things that like reject liquids. You've seen those, the tennis shoe spray that you guys don't know about? You spray it on your tennis shoes, the guy splashes grape juice on them, your tennis shoes are clean. It's like that, but this is in this. Not good. It's on the bottom. Okay, look at these little jack Okay, these are from MJ's personal stash. Whoa. So MJ, this is your horse. MJ's got a horse, I've never heard of this horse. These pumpkin delights. Pum the name pumpkin comes from the Greek word pepo, meaning large melon. <laughs> wow, good fact, good fact. Let's try these pumpkin delights. I love their look. These look straight out of Nightmare Before Christmas. There's something eerie about him, isn't there? His eyes are the wrong size. Put them on my head. Can I get, can I get far enough away? No. <laughs> I'm going to like, I love, I love the look. I'm very into this guy. A mild flavor, but a pumpkin flavor. I'm going to eat this smile. Hmm. It's a little gingerbread pumpkin cookie. Good texture, soft. A little bit stick to your teethy, you know? I gotta do a little horse impression and get off my teeth. But, and honestly, it's pretty good. It's simple. And I've never had a cookie like this. It's, normally gingerbread is hard. This is a nice little jam. It's a pumpkin jam, I guess. Never even heard of that. But it is time for us to do a little ad break, but we're gonna give it up to you guys. Ask some questions in the chat. Kaylin and I guess Zach will pull some. I'll also read some right off my computer. I wanna narrow our questions in. Why don't you ask me, questions about pilot month, what type of stuff we're piloting, what the plan is. Like, ask me some questions about pilot month. You could ask about trolley problems as well. Um, ask some questions about that, and we'll be back in just a second. All right, we got some questions. Kaylin, what we got? So the first question is, what is your favorite pilot? Oh, my favorite pilot. I think my favorite one is the one that's coming out this Saturday. Uh, that I talked about earlier, but I also really love one that's coming out, I think at the beginning of April, it's the near the end. And they're both totally different. They're both, I guess, gamified shows, but I wouldn't call them game shows in the traditional sense, but they do have game elements to them, but they are so different. Um, the first one that comes out this Saturday, it has Jared Popkin and Zach Kornfeld as the two competitors. Uh, the one that's later has me and Quazy versus Johnny and Zach in a really wild, unbelievable experience. It was kind of crazy. We, we shot for 12 hours straight, ended at about three in the morning. I went to sleep at five in the morning. It was a wild day. So I'm really excited about those. What else you got? Ah, people asking about the boys. I also want to specify the question before, which is what pilot am I most excited about? Should have repeated the question. I didn't. That's on me. What were the boys in? The boys were in a very special uh, pilot we made with uh, Johnny, Johnny Cakes of Johnny Cakes fame, Mr. Cakes. Um, it is sort of a take on some like Korean and Japanese game show style formats. We sort of took inspiration from that. Also a little bit of inspiration from like an Is It Cake variety, but it's really, really ridiculous and the boys come in to compete and participate as well. I can't say too much more because I wanted to be surprised, but doing that really opened the floodgates. Now all these K-pop groups keep asking to do videos with us and I'm like, I don't know what we, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, we're down, but we don't, I don't know what to do. There's always like eight of you. <laughs> there's, there's so many of them. There's so many of them, you know? It's a big, it's a lot of people to try to incorporate into a video. Uh, what else you got? Okay. Well, I have a question here while you think of that one. Someone just asked, what is Pilot Month? Pilot Month is the month of March this year. We are trying to do lots of different pilots. So videos that are totally new formats that we're putting out for you guys to let us know what you like the most. And we'll only choose a couple of those in the future to make full seasons of. Um, so it's, uh, we're making a lot of ideas. Some of them are, I don't want to say mo more fleshed out than others, but some of them became true pilots where we learned a lot from the filming process, and I think we'll learn more from releasing them, and some of them I think we actually nailed on the first attempt, and they're really, really great, and I hope you love them, and I hope you want them to become a series because we really want to. They're a blast. So you were talking how are you deciding to only based on 
Um, yeah, it, it'll really mostly be on audience. I mean, views as well, but we're trying to be a little less views focused and more passion fo focused. So you really need to let us know which ones you like the most. They're asking like, what, how will we know what pilot we want to go with? It will be based on which ones you guys are calling to see more of in the comments, on socials, etc. Tweet at us, Instagram tag us, all that jazz. Let us know what you like the most. And someone just asked, what's my favorite Pokemon? And whenever they ask that question, it means I get to open a pack of Pokemon cards. Hell yeah, I haven't opened this set before. It's very exciting. Look at this fancy art. We got cool Squirtle. <laughs> Look at this cool Squirtle right here. Here he goes. He's so cool. All right, I haven't opened this set at all. This is Paldean Fates. There's shiny Pokemon in these, and I'm sure there are Charizards. Could we, could we get another? Desiree chose the pack. So I have no idea what it could be. I think I'm just gonna go straight to the pack because I don't remember if there's a pack trick. Okay, right over here, here we go. It's a guy. It's the Chincho. It's Pineco, a pine cone one. Let's get the glare off of there. Pikachu, we got a Pikachu everybody, all right. We got a Graplock, he's an octopus. We got Nimona's backpack, unrelated to Oscar nominated film Nimona with Eugene. Did you see him in the Oscars? He was looking really good. Uh, Kilowattrell. Ooh, a shiny Pomo! <laughs> a shiny little Pomo! He's shiny because he's got stars. Then we got a Mastiff, a mischievous dog, a mischievous Mastiff, a Zatu, Haligar Zatu, and a Blaine Energy. We got a little, look, this is, this is our big pull, everybody. Look at the look, he's so cute. He's so cute, he's shiny. Congratulations to us. And now, Back to little Debbie. Little Debbie's sort of a Pokemon. Mini Muffins! Oh, I do love Mini Muffins. These are also often at inexpensive hotels, continental breakfasts. Who doesn't love a little muffin in a bag? Mini Muffins, starting with Blueberry. Blueberry Mini Muffins. Once again, it asks if I know the Muffin Man. I do. His Blueberry Mini Muffin recipe uses ingredients fit for a king. <laughs> Let's find out. Of course, the royal family is quite an interesting topic right now, isn't it? Let's have the blueberry muffins. Mmm. Oh, yes. That's good. Mmm. I can almost taste the granules of sugar on my teeth. That is not so good. Mmm. Soft like little pillows. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it tastes like eating blueberries. Yeah, blueberries hurt my stomach. But I imagine this will hurt my stomach anyway, like the whole uh, ordeal. Mmm, these are good. And let's see some of the ingredients fit for a king. <laughs> Glycerin, um, sodium stereolactylate, mono and diglycerides, polysorbate 60, guar gum, and soy leche. And there's more, but those are the ones I felt were the most royal. Time for mini muffins, strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake is its own dessert. So is it gonna be strawberry shortcake flavored or just strawberry muffins with a cuter name? That's what I wanna know. Let's have the strawberry shortcake muffins. Are they even half as good as those? Oh, they smell like cake. They definitely smell like cake. These are cupcakes, not mini muffins. Mmm. The moisture in there. It's both. It definitely tastes like it's moist, but I know it's not. How are they doing that? It like feels really moist, but then it's also dry. But it's very pleasant. It's like my teeth are chewing on a trampoline, but a good kind. I'm at one of those trampoline parks, which I'll never go to. My knees could never, I would die. Uh, I, I'm so scared of trampoline parts, park, <laughs> trampoline parts and parks. The parts, the springs, whew, I definitely fell off a trampoline once or twice as a kid. Thank God I didn't get hurt. Not seriously, at least. All right, let's move on to the honey bun mini muffins. Honey buns. Honey bunches of buns. The honey bun mini muffins. Honey bun. I bet these will be better than the honey bun because the moisture of these is off the charts. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Should I just do an only smell? show someday. Keith smells the muffins. Mm. Oh, 
This mini muffins are out of control. But of course, Little Debbie, mini muffins, only the small stuff. Of course she's gonna put more care in the mini muffins because she's Little Debbie. Little Debra, teensy Deb, <laughs> itty bitty D. <laughs> she's so tiny. Mmm, those are good. It's way better than the, than the honey bun itself. Mmm, that's honestly, maybe one of the best muffins. And now it's time for the birthday mini muffins. There's no flavor like birthday. <laughs> oh, that tastes like birthday. Mmm, I love a good birthday flavor. The birthday ones, it just means they're fun funfetti, which means they're plain sugar cake, which is fine. But what would my birthday really taste like? A fancy dinner. Like, you know, steak and mashed potato muffins. The birthday muffins. Those are sweet. Woo! Woo! Mmm, wee! Mm-mm. Don't like that one. Too sweet. Not enough business. You know, blueberries gave me a fruit. Strawberries gave me a cake. Honey bun tasted great. This one came too light. Oh, it's just fine. It's really gummy. Chocolate chip! Chocolate chip! The muffins are getting caked in my teeth. Ah, la, 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 la. Any dentists watching? Comment below. What, right, time for the chocolate chip miniature muffins. Mini muffins. We should do a, a whole video that's called Mini Day. And we eat mini muffins while going mini golfing. And we drive mini cars. Mini. And, and mini Coopers with mini mouse. <laughs> that could be fun. All right, the chocolate chip mini muffins with mini chocolate chips. Kind of leaves you wanting more. It doesn't taste like a cookie. The chocolate's not really screaming. It's there. It's there. You know it's there. But it's like how you turn the lights off in your room and you know how to navigate to the bed safely. You can't see it. You know it's there. But sometimes it grabs your ankles. You ever catch your ankle on the bed corner? You regret ever having a corner of the bed to begin with. They hurt it's the middle of the night and then you're just screaming by yourself in the darkness and your cats come over and they're like, what are you doing? And like, I'm hurt. Well, it's time for a poll. We're gonna let you guys choose some things to alter the stream. We're gonna cut to an ad as always. I'll be dancing in front of this camera doing some bits so you can enjoy that and we'll be right back. Everyone get ready because Zach is coming to join the show. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> There he is, wow. Looks like Zach is up next. Hey Zach, how's it going? Hi Keith, happy to be here. Great to have you. Zach just sort of ran into the room and said, hey, is now a good time for me to come on the show? And I said, okay, and now he's here. He's gonna help us. We had you guys vote on the polls just while we were in that break, and you guys chose riddles. But we're gonna have some seasonal snacks, and Zach is here to help me with the riddles. It takes two to tango when the tango is a rhyme or a riddle. A lot of riddles rhyme, not all of them. So they're gonna be in Easter eggs, tis the season. Then rabbits, they're mischievous little guys, huh? This is the Easter basket cake. That's another reason why we're using the eggs. Why don't you open the egg, I'll open the cake. Oh, fuck yeah, these are gonna be good. Oh, there's a Q and an A. Yeah. Knock, knock, wait, the riddle's a knock knock? Wasn't uh, one of the choices? It be. <laughs> it's, it says knock knock, who's there? Keith. Keith who? That's a crazy riddle. It's an egg. <laughs> a box with no hinges, with treasure inside. Um, I'm gonna have the Easter cakes. These smell like zebra cakes and they smell good. You have to solve the riddle, Keith. No, no, Easter cakes. <laughs> the answer, Keith, come and carry on. <laughs> huh. Um, the Easter cake is good. Yeah. It tastes like, um, it tastes like the, the, the cream cupcakes. It tastes like all the cakes taste, but, it, but they all taste good, so I'm into them. Okay, Bucky, thanks for having me. Okay, we grabbed the wrong eggs, clearly. Zach, you can't, you're not going anywhere yet. We need you for the riddles. Okay. The knock-knock joke was just, just a, a joke. We were just joking around. This is pretty good. Uh, let me review the cake. The Easter basket cake tastes good. Chocolatey and nice and yummy. All right, Zach's here again. We got another Easter cake. This is the marshmallow puff cake. The Easter marshmallow puffs. Yeah, the chocolate cake was pretty good. Not bad. All right. What's the riddle? 
Give me a drink and I will die. Oh. Give me a drink and I will die. Feed me and I'll get bigger. What am I? Fire. I know it. Fire. I know it. It's a flame. Nope. You're wrong. But it, You're wrong. True. You're true. wrong. If you gave fire water, it would die. And if you fed it logs, it gets bigger. They call feeding a fire. That's a good one. What is it? I was going to say thirst. Oh. Uh, what is it? A fire, I was fire. right. Hell yeah. All right, let's try this little marshmallow cake. <laughs> oh, I hate marshmallow treats. They suck. They're like chewing on a balloon. Yeah. They're not very good. Yeah. The chocolate is barely there, if you can even call it chocolate. Uh-uh. However, it does feel Eastery because Easter is peep season, and peeps are Ooh. disgusting in marshmallow grossness. Come back, Zach. <laughs> Should I have the Easter basket cake? Vanilla. There's the egg. Oh, okay. I didn't know there were gonna be so many of these. The Easter basket cake. Vanilla cake or plain cake? I don't know. Why should you never fall in love with a pastry chef? Hmm. Well, they do have to wake up very early in the morning. Why should you never fall in love with a pastry chef? Um, because it's gonna be a pun. It's gonna yeah, be it's gonna a be a pun. pun. It's not sound like it's a riddle. Be it's not like, like a dad a, joke. It's gonna be like fall in love with a pastry chef. Because they croissant. Oh, that's a good one. Um, because they muffin. What, what are pastries also called? They have, what are they in, in France? Because they have a name. Because they're yeasty. Oh, that's a good choice. Uh, because they rise. Uh, it's really because they normally go to work at like 2.30 or 3 in the morning. It's crazy schedule. You That's know, awful. The, uh, croissants should cost a million dollars. Oh, it's good. This cake's pretty good. A little dry. It's a good But answer. it's nice. It's like a zebra cake. It's not bad at all. I'm a fan. Hmm. Actually, quite enjoyable. If I had a little Kool-Aid cup, I'd be six years old right now. You know what I'm saying? I had some Kool-Aid with cookies when you were a kid. I'm like, uh-uh. Milk. Give me milk. I'm a child. Give me sugar with sugar, you're crazy. You have control. Why should you never date a pastry chef? Please? I don't know, Zach, why? Because they may desert you. Oh, wow. Pastries are normally for breakfast. I liked that one, I thought it was cute. Pastries are definitely majority breakfast items. Not that it can't be dessert, but okay. Let's do the, ooh. The Bloomin' Spring Brownies. These are made with a deep fried onion in the middle. <laughs> the Bloomin' Spring Brownies. These actually, they kind of look fun. They have them on the back like you stick them into plants to feed to your children. Really interesting choice. And what has Cute. no beginning, middle, or end? What has no beginning, middle, or end? Time. The universe is limitless. Time sounds like a good answer. No beginning, middle, or end. Maybe it's that sentence. It has no beginning, middle, and end written in it. Oh, right? you. That's what riddles sometimes do. You are incorrigible. Is that what it was? Oh, I saw what it was. It's a donut. It's a donut. That's funny. No beginning, middle, or end. I don't yeah. Know. Uh, well, you eat it. It, it, it's it does. Over. It does end. And, okay. The bloom thing. It was like a bar of soap. It's a cosmic brownie with uh, soap on top. <laughs> I feel like I could rub that right under my face. That's chest. a cosmic brownie with some sort of thick ass icing. It's almost like wax, like candle wax. Yeah, Yeah, real put thick. your thumbs in it, quick. <laughs> quick, Zach, put your fingernails directly in the tree. It's crazy mm -hmm. thick. I don't like it. Look at that. I don't like something about it. Blech. Blech. Let's move on. Moving on. It's the spring butterfly cakes. More riddles? Yeah. What have I done? I'm trapped I don't know. here. Um, the spring butterfly cake, I love the shape of these. Look at these little butterflies. Or bones. I bet at Halloween they call these the bone cakes. Use the same mold. And around prom, they're bow tie cakes. A container without hinges, lock or key, yet a golden treasure lies inside me. I already answered it. It's egg. It's friggin' egg. What eggs. am I? Egg. Let's try the butterfly. Mmm. Egg. Egg. And it is Easter. Rabbits are laying eggs now. <laughs> the woke left. <laughs> they're freaking agenda. Do you hear rabbits are laying eggs now? 
They're hiding them in my yard. I can't believe this. Um, this is pretty good. It tastes exactly like the other cake that looked like this. It's just a different shape. It tastes exactly the same. Um, but it is good. It's, a, it's like a zebra cake. It's satisfying. It's yummy. Okay, it's time for us to take a little break. We come back with some audience questions, and we'll keep Zach around. You can ask Zach a question. Ooh, the elusive Zach Kornfeld live right here to answer your questions. We'll be right back. I'm so elusive. <laughs> and we're back, and we got some questions from Kaylin. What you got in the chat? Uh, we want to know what Zach's favorite candid competition episode to film was. Ooh, to Zach, film? What was your favorite candid competition episode to film this season? Uh, okay, we did uh, probably the, the cakes. It's always reviewing cakes is always just giggle fest. Boys on the couch talking about cakes. Does the cakes episode really the one? That I had the most fun filming? Most fun? You didn't have the most fun filming the breakup one? No, that's anxiety it was thing. Scary. It's, it's terrible to film that. It was that. scary. All right, it's what, so scary. What's next? You probably had fun. You were just pouring water in your lap. I, know. I, I was also very anxious about that. And then when I was swinging the bag, something that didn't make the videos when I was swinging the bed, bag, a guy came up and said, sir, please stop. <laughs> And he didn't work, he was just like a, a patron of the mall. He wasn't, and he was like my age. <laughs> he said, sir, please stop. Um, will there be more smoke show? Will there be more smoke show is the question for Zach. We're working on it. We gotta get some cool guests, so let us know who you would like to see on the show that you think would be willing to do it. Mm, very nice, very nice. What are both of your favorite colors? Both of our favorite colors. Um, I it mean, changes. It's blue and green. I like them both. I mean, a beautiful green is super beautiful, but a beautiful blue is also pretty nice. But like a dark, per like a rich purple. Oh, okay. It's like, whoa, that's hot. Yeah, it's not as much for me. <laughs> that, well, that's what makes it feel rare. Yeah. It feels special. Yeah. There, there are some oranges sometimes. I'm like, whoa, look at her. Look at that. Look at that orange. Yeah. What's your favorite color? It's my favorite color, too. Last question. People want to know what Zach's favorite pilot of this month is. Oh, Zach, what is your favorite pilot of this month? You can't choose the Saturdays. It's what fine. did you answer? Okay, I answered that the one. two it's that we good answer. Said we like the most. Uh, uh, well, I'm a really big. Oh, you answered two of them? Yeah, I know. I wanna, so you took the. What's the other it wasn't, one? They, they said, which ones are you excited about? So I said, I said both. But I, I don't think they gave them clues. Okay, okay, okay. Can, um, I guess you can choose either one. Well, there are three that I feel really confident about and three that I'm like, cool, they're coming together and I feel like they might be. Uh, uh, but Trolley Problems was obviously a blast, just a giggle fet. Like, start to finish was so fun to work on. Uh, we're starting to work on more of them tomorrow morning. We have a call about it, so we're working on more of those. Uh, and then we have one at the end of the month. It's actually outside of, it's like pilot month ends, and then we got one more, uh, and that one, uh, we went to another city. We, it's very scavenger hunt based, and I can just imagine us doing those forever and ever and ever. I yeah. love the movie Sleepover with Alexa Vega. Shout out. Uh, and we hi, just, Alexa. Hi, Alexa. Thanks for watching. Uh, and we just, you know, we turned the movie Sleepover into a video. Uh, we did not get Steve Phillips' back boxer shorts, which was unfortunate, but loved that. Also, the, we did a, a, an episode with the boys where we made them put their. Mouth? <laughs> they put their mouths places. Yeah, they sure did. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining us, Zach. Everybody bye. say bye, Zach, in the chat. <laughs> put, put, put some, put some uh, love in the chat for Zach. It's time for the donuts. Do, 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 do donuts. Now, I'm going to make a thing here. I typically hate bagged mini donuts. I don't like the Entenmann's ones, but I haven't had these ones, so... I'm gonna give them their fair shot, but I can't promise that I'll like a single thing we're about to eat. Here are the donuts. These are the Little Debbie Mini Frosted Donuts. They're best if used by only a couple weeks from now, so we <laughs> better get into them quick. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There we go, the chocolate. Chocolate Little Donuts. Little Debbie's Little Donuts. Yellow. No oh, yellow on the inside, okay. Mm. Not bad, but not, like, I do not want another bite at all. Several things I've had before, I'm like, yeah, let me have another bite of that. I'm like, nah. Boring. Boo! Boo! <laughs> it's, it's boring. It tastes like nothing. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Give it to the mice outside. 
All right, the powdered sugar ones. Now these are fun because if you eat them wrong, you'll cough for two minutes. Any kind of powdered sugar treat just feels a little bit like a prank, you know? They're really dangerous treats. And, and when you're a child, they don't really give you a fair warning and you like go and you put it by your mouth. What the hell just happened? This just came right off. Oh, that's not what I wanted. All right, little frosty baby powdered donuts. That's so dry. What'd you say? So dry. So dry. My tongue's all white. Okay, they're better than chocolate because they're covered in sugar. And who doesn't love a little sugar treat? I mean, we're literally evolved to like sugar and salt, people. That's why we like snacks because when we were little eight people running around, we couldn't get our sugar salt very often. So when we got it, we ate as much as we could. And now, th those are the same DNA we have now. And now we get sugar salt all the time. We go bananas for it. And e even in bananas, they have a lot of sugar, actually. Not a lot of salt, but a lot of sugar. That's why we make bananas foster. Caramel bananas. Ooh, this pink little bag. What are these? Strawberry? What the hell is that? Strawberry glaze? Are they strawberry on the inside or the outside? This one's good for one day longer than those other ones. It's good till March 25th, everybody in the office, you hearing? Don't eat them after that. Get salmonella. Oh, they're pink! It's like a little Homer Simpson donut. It's the same color as my skin. <laughs> It looks different in the wide shot, but in the close up, same as on skin. <laughs> These are skin donuts. Oh, they smell kind of good. All right, let's try the strawberry donut. Oh, pink on the inside. Pink. 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 <laughs> so cute. Yeah. Ah, meh. I don't want another bite. I'm back to the chocolate phase. I'm like, yeah, meh. But it was second place. First place was powdered sugar, second place, that one. Third place, chocolate. And what are you? Little glazed donut sticks. Okay, these are a whole different, these are a whole different ball game. Glazed donut sticks. Glazed donut sticks. Glazed donut sticks. Little Debbie's glazed donut sticks. Six donut sticks. I don't normally have the word stick on your food that often. Glazed donut stick. Whoa, that was that's a thick stick. That is, God, that's like a biscuit. <laughs> Look at that thing. That's dense. Holy cow, and dry. Oh my God. I'm just hitting it as hard as I can, and nothing's happening. I mean, a little bit of crumb is coming off. Oh, this is fun. It's like it's snowing. <laughs> um, it's, it's too much, too thick. Too thick and gunky in my throat, but I think it was the better flavor of the last little donuts, but texture and gunkiness, blah, blah, blah. Not good. Yuck. What's next? Little Debbie fights round donuts. Little Debbie fights round donuts. This one is gonna only be good till March 23rd. March 23rd. You know, sometimes it's hard to find the expiration date on food, and well, this one is right up top. They must really not want you to eat it after the fact. Something bad must really happen. These are the fudge round mini donuts. I bet these have chocolate on the inside. They smell fudgy. They smell like the fudge rounds that I had earlier. Oh my God, this is gonna taste like the fudge rounds. No. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> it's not good. It's like a mediocre brownie flavor. Yeah, I'm back to my original opinion. Those aren't aren't worth your time. Of all the Debbie snacks so far, the muffins are like home run after home run. Some of those other snacks are pretty good, but the donuts, don't waste your time. Okay, more donuts. Really thought that was gonna be the end of the donuts. <sighs> donuts, there's more donuts, huh? Okay, mini glazed donuts. Okay, these are original glaze, though. These are plain o plain -o. These are good until March 16th, uh-oh. <laughs> We're running out of time. <laughs> We're running out of time only. Well, a few more days. We're having St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day coming up. Don't get pinched. <laughs> I don't know. It's a, they, they pinch, you pinch people. 
It's a weird thing they teach you in elementary school. It's like, oh, and if you don't dress, dress correct, you're gonna get pinched. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get assaulted because I'm not wearing green? Excuse you. <laughs> I don't even have green stuff. I never have the right quality of green. The glazed donut. Same fucking donut. But the glaze on it, I do like the glaze because the glaze on this is the same as the glaze on the thick stick and the glaze flavor is pretty good. Well, that's the donuts. And now it's time for the poll, the last poll. You guys are gonna vote on a poll while we take a little break. When you come back, we're gonna let that poll affect our next little snack. So we got some big heavy hitters coming up, guys. We got zebra cakes and some other stuff as well. So stay tuned, we'll see you right after this. Welcome back. Some exciting things have happened in the chat during our break. Apparently, Sydney has had a baby. <laughs> Congratulations, Sydney. I don't know who you are, but this is the first ever baby born on a Try Guys live stream. Congratulations to Sydney. I don't know if you've had a daughter or a girl. I would recommend the name Deb, <laughs> just to honor this. And if it's a boy, Keith. Those are your two options. Uh, you gotta go with one of them. Uh, of course, gender is a construct, but you gotta make your guesses as you can when they're a baby. So gra grab a name, Keith or Debbie, and move on. Congratulations to Sydney on <laughs> getting that a baby. It doesn't even make sense to me at all how that could happen. She's apparently waiting for her baby to be given to her. It could all be a lie, but I choose to believe it. Let's move in to see what we had on these polls. We're gonna have our cakes. Guys, it's time for cakes. Now I saw the poll on the screen, and let me tell you. It was a wacky poll. We're gonna be decorating these cakes in either the theme of Women's History Month, uh, Women's Month, Divorce, or Cat Birthday. I have to assume they chose Cat Birthday. Well, you know, April 20th is uh, my cat Alfred's uh, gotcha day, is that what they call it, when you adopt him? We did adopt him on 420, hilariously enough. Um, so I guess we'll decorate this little cake, and I've got gloves here, this is the... <laughs> This is the birthday cake, nah. I'm gonna keep the box and decorate on the box. This is the birthday cake. Oh boy, this is, this is real. Okay, and I gotta decorate it for Alfred. What would Alfred want? He would want a thin red line. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that's, just, that's just his vibe. Let's try the birthday cake for Alfred. Drop your cat names in the chat. I'll make one for each cat watching. But you gotta send me pictures of your cat on Twitter or Instagram, whatever. It tastes like all the other cakes. <laughs> it is good though. I mean, these are good. I love the frosting. They like nailed it. Deb, you're crushing it. The little fun Betty sprinkles are good. They have a nice little crunch. Bye. Bye bye. But there's no difference in flavor between that and the ones that are in bow tie shapes, circular shapes. They're all the same. What do we got next? We have the. Get some stripes, zebra stripes. Zebra cake rolls. Oh, I didn't know they came in rolls. Well, you know what they say, zebra stripes, down the pipes. <laughs> it's the whole thing I used to say in college a lot. <laughs> zebra stripes, down the pipes. Can't open this, <laughs> it's just shredding. Okay, we're gonna have a little zebra. This is like the zebra, uh, and the Swiss roll. These are uh, the Swiss, Swiss zebras. The zebra little guy. Whoa! Okay, this one tastes different. This one's mushier, gushier. It's um, more decadent. Mmm. No, 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 no. <laughs> Makes me think I should sing, you know? Mmm. It's like the Lion King. That opening when the animals are drinking from the water and they look beautiful. This is what a feeling I get from this. This is good. Mmm. Mmm. And it's gushing with flavor. Just like a real zebra. Okay, we got a cat from the chat. Do we have a chat cat? Oh, there's many there. Okay. Pick the best one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh I think Pippin's kind of cute. Oh, cute Pippin. This is a fancy cake. Fancy cake, fancy cake, fancy cake, fancy cake. Um, this is zebra cake. No, fancy cake. <laughs> Cream-filled white cakes. This is for Pippin. This is for Pippin. Okay, Pippin. I'm gonna give you a little pee. Pee. <laughs> pee for Pippin. Pee. <laughs> pee for Pippin. Pippin. Pippin the cat. Congratulations to Pippin. And Sydney. 
<laughs> Tastes fucking exactly the same as the other cakes that I've had that are made of the same ingredients. Well, they are really Taco Belling it right now. This is the same food. It's not even look different. It looks exactly like the other one, right? It's a square instead of a hexagon. That said, it's still good. I think what I've learned is if any, if the one that you like they're out of, just get the one that looks like it, because it's the same. Oh yeah. Here we frickin' go! Here we frickin' go! Everybody say yeah! Yeah! Chocolate cupcakes! Bum, 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 bum. Chocolate cupcakes! Yeah, these are good. <laughs> these are fucking good. I love these are probably oh, Jesus Christ. Get me in there. Get me in there. Get me in there. Yeah. These are good. They look cute, right? Oh, I put my finger on each little hole. <laughs> Alright, a little cake. A cupcake. It's like a big mini brownie. It's like a brownie. <laughs> With the cream in this, although it's marshmallow based, isn't so marshmallowy, you know? Like a chewy marshmallow. Mmm, it's comforting. It's classic. It's nostalgic. It's thick in the mouth. It's thick in the mouth. It's thick in the mouth. It's all over my mouth. This is, I'm gonna quote Quasi right now because this chocolate makes me thirsty. It really does make me thirsty. It's like a real thirster. That's making me thirsty. Water. I know, I do, but I'm just telling you, for the viewers at home, it makes you thirsty. Zebra cakes, zebra cakes. I mean, the graphic design, they went all out on this one, right? The sun, it looks like a freaking party. They know the zebra cakes are the big one. They're just so, like, it's so loud. Zebra cakes. And zebras in pop culture, they're never the coolest ones. They're always just getting eaten on various nature documentaries. Lions and shit are killing them. Not even hard, not even hard it seems. Zebras never are like the star. Madagascar, is he the star? No. Yeah, I know zebra stars, but zebra cakes? The star. Zebra cake. Yeah, it tastes like all those other ones, but it's fucking good. It tastes exactly like every other white cake I've had. It tastes exactly the same. Was I supposed to decorate it? Oops. Well, give me another cap. Douglas. Douglas, that's like the whole name. Yeah, that's my middle name. You guys know that? Actually, I'm just, you know, it turns out I'm just going to do three circles. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry about that. Douglas. <laughs> Douglas. <laughs> it does not look like a dick. Oh, we didn't. Anyway, zebras, some, some zebras have dicks. Some. All right, frosted fudge. Now, look, so look at the, okay. Zebra cakes are for kids. These are for weddings. I mean, look at this graphic design. Look at it. It's so fancy. Look at the freaking cursive, frosted fudge. Like, they should, I mean, and Debbie looks a little older here, doesn't she? <laughs> no. But it, it's like, that's just such a different look. Right? I mean, they really, each one they treat as such a unique experience and they taste exactly the same. Let's have you. Mmm. Yeah, that was freaking good. It tastes like the Swiss rolls, which I haven't had yet, but we have those in the office, so I have them sometimes. Sometimes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gotta get my steps in. Mmm, it looks sort of hot when I do this, don't I? Oh. 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 <laughs> it's kind of hot, though. <laughs> you guys, it's kind of hot. All right, next treat. <laughs> oh, the devil squares. Oh my god, Debbie! <laughs> the devil squares? Okay, girl. Okay, we gotta decorate these. Who, which cat? Hamish. Hamish is sort of the devil. Not really. He's, I think he's a redeemable character. He's a redeemable character. Um, Hamish. Okay, I'm just gonna draw 
Uh, I don't know. I can't remember what the Hunger Games system symbol looks like. It's like a fucking. <laughs> There. <laughs> okay, hey man, there you go. It's the Hunger Games. Let's let kids kill each other. All right, the devil squares. It tastes exactly like what I just had. The fancy cakes, the devil squares. The fancy cake just is the devil square wearing a mask. Isn't that life sometimes? These, uh, their main mascots are the devil and zebra. What's that say about us? <laughs> okay, it's time to bring in some international taste buds. Time for the Swiss rolls. I mean, look at this graphic design. Blue. I mean, these are these are top notch. These are good until March 26th. Swiss rolls. Swiss rolls has a very sim similar graphic design to Swiss Miss Hot Chocolate, doesn't it? Coincidence? I think not. I am getting sick of cake. <laughs> Ugh. Swiss Miss, Little Miss Swiss. Oh, got white cream inside. Cream, cream, cream in the white cream. Hey, white cream. I like the shell on these, right? They're kind of like they're kind of like leather. See that? You see it? It's kind of like leather. I think that's pretty cool. It, it, on the underside, it feels like felt. And leather has two different, has a smooth and a furry side, if you know leather. It's really leather. They just sell that, it's called chocolate leather. You can make a jacket out of it. Oh boy, here comes the unicorn. So I guess zebras ain't the only horse guy around anymore. The devil's got a horse feet. No, he's got goat feet. Gotta decorate this one. What's the kitty cat name? Oh, that's perfect for this. For uni <laughs> Maybe Sydney's baby will be Trinket reincarnated. <laughs> what? <laughs> why, why is that bad? You guys don't believe in reincarnation? Just a bunch of Christians in here? <laughs> I know that's not true. I can't get him out. I can't get him out. Get the unicorn out. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Trinket, I'm so sorry. Trinket. There, I'm in. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, Trinket. Rest in peace. <laughs> I tried my best to write Rip, but I think it looks like Rid. Rip. <sighs> this freaking cake. A unicorn. Oh, strawberry flavored. I got a lot of cake on the belt that time. I like that it tastes different. I don't know if it's good, but it does taste different. Oh yeah, tastes like strawberries. Oh boy, here comes some more strawberries. I'm just, can I just put these in your hands? <laughs> My hands are sticky. Strawberry shortcake rolls. Can't pick them up. These look like corn dogs too. I like, we should do Keith Eats Every Corn Dog at the fair. Keith Eats Every Corn Dog. Keith Eats Every Tube of Meat. Strawberry shortcake rolls. Oh, I like the smell. This also has a leather vibe. It's got sort of a strong floor. Hmm. Oh, okay. This has more flavor than everything I've had before. It's got a little bit of tartness. It's got a little bit of sugar. It's very nice. It's very nice. Ugh. I like the strawberry flavor. Yeah, that one's good. The strawberries are nice. They break up the flavor for me. That was the only one that had any flavor other than chocolate or vanilla. So I liked it. Well, well, it's time for an audience question. We're gonna take a little break. We're gonna come back and answer some questions. You can ask me about anything you want. Anything you want. The sky's the limit. I'll answer anything you ask me. Go on, do your worst. We'll be right back. We're back. And it's time 
for some questions. Kaylin? I'm wondering if your teeth are hurting. My teeth don't hurt. I, I never had that issue with, people asked if my teeth are hurting and no, they're not. My teeth don't hurt from the stuff that makes people's teeth hurt, like cold hurting people's teeth, nah. I got good teeth, that's one of my good genetics. They may not be pearly white, but they're strong. Never had a cavity. Never had a cavity once. Not even once. Wow. Yeah. They're strong. It's, cavities are apparently entirely genetic. Yeah. It's not your fault if you get cavities. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Thank you so much. It's, it's, it's not your fault. What? You're genetically inferior. <laughs> 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 okay, what's the next question? When's the next Eat the Menu? Well, so. We have a pilot of an Eat the Menu adjacent format. It's called Eat with Keith. It comes out, I think, a week from yesterday. And it was, if you saw online, I asked people to send me things that they wanted me to try. It is a write-in suggestion Eat the Menu. So I eat a whole bunch of different varieties of stuff. Some local restaurants, some international snacks, some domestic snacks. Uh, I retry some things that I hated from Eat the Menu. It's sort of a, a hodgepodge show, but it's all audience submission based. So a different approach to eat the menu, but it allows me to sort of know exactly what you guys want to see me eat. So check that out, I think that comes out in a week. But then we have the Michelin series, all next month. Every Saturday, four different restaurants, they're all incredible, and then after that, if I'm still alive, we'll do some more. Uh, last one. Last one. Uh, which eat the menu was the worst for your stomach? Which eat the menu was the worst for my stomach? Stomach? TGI Fridays. TGI Fridays, yeah, the sushi round really. I had to go outside. I went outside and I stared at a tree. <laughs> I got real close to the tree and just sort of saw the, saw the inner workings of the tree. It really made me have a hard time. Okay, it's time for a Pokemon pack. Look at that little guy. Is that Pikachu? Let's take a peek. It is. Let's open him up. Oh, he looks cute. Look how curious he is. Isn't he a curious little rat? Look at him. He's a rat, he's an electric rat. He's a rat. <laughs> LA has a rat problem. But so does every city. Oh, okay guys, this is gonna be the one. Charizard Central, you all ready? Something. Little mouse. Little barboach. Numel. Maractus, it's a cactus. Electric generator. Charmeleon. Is it a sign? Technical Machine Crisis Punch. <laughs> wiggly Tub! Look at the big shiny Wiggly Tub! Oh! Wiggly Tub! Like that. Whoa! Holy shit, that's cool! The fuck are you? <laughs> it's a bunch of buddies! It's Clive! <laughs> it's Clive, of course! Make sure that Wiggly Tub stays good. Oh, another one! An executor, this one's probably worth something because it's got lots, normally this is, these are good. When there's lots and lots of little guys, lots of little, little art, when the art's so detailed. It's normally pretty good. And lastly, nothing. But I didn't expect there to be nothing there. We got two big hits and an executor, guys. We're not pulling anything better than that. Let's get to the rest of the Little Debbie ice cream. Ice cream, you scream. Let's all scream. Ah! <laughs> All right, all right, it's time for the Cosmic Brownie ice cream. Ooh, I've never had, I honestly didn't even know they had ice creams until we were looking up stuff for this video. I was shocked, shocked. The Cosmic, the Cosmic Brownie ice cream. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm gonna get one of these little m and M's. The Cosmic Brownie. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it should, at it, it, it its core, it should just be chocolate, right? I know you saw my teeth, didn't you? There's chocolate on it. Ew. I don't like it. It's just like meh ice cream, I think. It's just not that good. It's not that good. Not so cosmic. Let's try the unicorn. Now, I did like the unicorn because it had strawberry jam. Oh no, that wasn't, it had strawberry cake. The other one was, had this, it was the rolls. Oh, this is fun looking though. It's like blue and pink. The unicorn, ice cream. Hmm, now that the cosmic brownie one's in my teeth, it does taste good. Good aftertaste. <laughs> 
Good aftertaste to that one. The unicorn. Well, I like that it has like little nerds in it. Oh, this is good. This is good for that five to nine year old palate. Really sweet, candy-like, bright, strawberry-y, but definitely still a processed flavor, but kind of a good kid's strawberry, I think. Unicorns aren't real, but that one, that flavor, it's real. All right, what's next? Zebra cakes. <laughs> zebra cakes. Look again at this fucking crap time. Look at this zebra. Have you seen a cooler zebra than that? Look at him. Look at him. He's having a freaking great time. This guy will DJ your wedding. <laughs> zebra cake ice cream. This one looks good. It just looks like a fudge stripe vanilla. Mm. It tastes exactly like the elementary school peel back wooden spoon ice cream that has the chocolate um, syrup in it. Like, that is elementary school ice cream. Wow. They nailed it. Mmm. That's nostalgia. That's nostalgia. What's over here? <laughs> Swiss rolls. Again, they went from so zazzified to so dignified. Swiss rolls ice cream. As taste, as taste as elegant as the Swiss Alps. Ooh, is, is it, it, do you guys really, whoever chose what time to take the ice cream out of the freezer, you nailed it. It's like perfect scooping and eating temperature. Still frozen, but soft. Is that you? Was that you? Desiree? Nice job. Even with the foot. still works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Swiss rolls ice cream. Woo! It's so sweet. It's gross. <clears throat> Ugh, yuck, hate it. I don't know why. It tastes like wrong. <laughs> it doesn't taste, it tastes like chocolate, but as a secret, it's a bad secret it's got. Something dark in its family's past. <clears throat> okay, and nutty bars. Oh, this is a great idea. This, I love ice cream bars, especially like when they have nuts, and I love the nutty bar. This is genius. Debbie, you did it. Wait, where's your stick? Where's your stick? Is it? Oh, it ate the stick. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I can't take the stick out. No, that's not what I. That's not what I expected. Huh. <laughs> Do we have another nutty bar? <laughs> Hardy har har. <laughs> it's in there. <laughs> it just stick, the stick just stuck, it was in it. The stick is still in it. Okay, we're gonna try again. I feel the stick in there. You feel the stick? Yeah. I feel the stick. <laughs> I feel the stick. This one's gonna be cold. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. Oh man, these bags really hold on to this ice cream good. Oh my God, ew, what's ew? Oh, ah! what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening here? Oh my God, Jesus Christ, Jesus. The Nutty Bar ice cream. <laughs> what is that? Why is he doing that? Is that right? Do you wanna try the other ones? Give me another one. <laughs> Deb, what's going on? Quality control. These are the only two. They're also stuck together. They're stuck together. Hey, you open that one. <laughs> and the taste is pretty good, but the sight was unbearable. Oh, this one's fine. That one's gross too, huh? Yeah. This one has a little bit of whatever that. Ew. This one looks good. <laughs> this one looks good. <laughs> this one's good. Hey, one out of four. Not good, but you know, let's try it again. Mmm. Mmm. 
I mean, when they're good, they're good. But most of the time, they have some sort of suspicious frozen slime on them. <laughs> or they have eaten their own stick. This is good. It's a great little ice cream bar. Nutty, crunchy, chocolatey, peanut buttery. Yeah, a good place to end, honestly. A really delicious bite. Is there more? No. No, least best? Wow. Um, I'm just going to hand it to you. And put that garbage there. All right. It is now time for the best and the least best. Well, recency bias. The, the bite that was good from that was good. Yeah, nailed it. Freaking nailed it. <laughs> um, let's see. What did I like the most? Okay, so first of all, all of the white cakes, whether they're hexagonal, bow tie shaped, square shaped, fancy, devils, they're all the same. And they're all pretty good. All the white cake, frosted cakes with white mm, something in it, they're good. No matter how you decorate them, no matter the graphic design, they taste exactly the same. Debbie has conned us for years, <laughs> making us think they're different. They're not. Similarly, all the chocolate stuff with white filling, whether it's the Swiss roll or the, or the other cakes, they're pretty similar. The cupcake was pretty different. In texture, it was very similar to the mini uh, brownie but I didn't like it as the mega brownie. I like the mini brownie more. They should make mini cupcakes with the stuffing in it, like one bite, that would be good. But I still liked almost all of those. Those were all my best. The general cakes were good. I got sick of them, but they were good. Some of those ice creams we just had were bad. They sucked. They should stay in their lane. They don't know how to make stuff for the freezer aisle. Deb, <laughs> you're a bakery, not an ice creamery. Different science altogether. Um, what else did I like? I liked the mini muffins. Ah, oh, the mini muffins were really quite good. The blueberry, the strawberry, uh, really yummy. I like the um, cookie pies, the, the, the fudge rounds, and the oatmeal cream pies were both incredible. Fudge round probably was my favorite of the whole day. Except, was there something else I liked? There was one other one that was really good. What was it? Oh, honey bun mini muffin just smoked the honey bun. I didn't microwave it for 15 seconds. That's apparently. Uh, no, that wasn't what I'm talking about. No, but the honey bun itself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The honey bun itself, you're supposed to microwave 15 seconds. I didn't do that, so I didn't think it was that exciting. Uh, but the honey bun mini muffin, I think it, that gave me the vibe of what it must be for those people who microwave because it was really quite good. Uh, what do we start with? We started with the Oh yeah, you know, I'm, I'm glad that I thought the Cosmic Brownie wasn't so bad. That was a nice wake up call for me. Hey, put Hateful Keith in the past, have a Cosmic Brownie. Um, I like the Nutter Butter Bars. The nutty buddy bars. That's what they are. The Nutty Buddy Bars are pretty good. And the, uh, the Fig Butter Fingers. The peanut Butter Crunch Bars. The Peanut Butter Crunch Bars are pretty good. Honestly, they were all, like, if you gave me any one of those, you've got a 90% chance of me thinking it's good. Which, that's good for a snack cake. Like, they're all, like, fine. Like, I would eat them at a playground if I was 10, <laughs> you know? Uh, and I guess if I was going to a kid's birthday party and they had them, I'd eat some now. They're not bad. They're nostalgic. They remind you of the past. They're from 1930. They've been doing this for almost 100 years. Deb was just a little girl. She didn't plan to be the face of so many people's childhoods, and yet she did it. Congratulations, Debra. Can we give it up for Debra? <laughs> hey, if you know Debra, send her this video, make her watch it. Sit her down in a chair and make her watch it start to finish. <laughs> Don't let her get up. <laughs> Don't let her get up. This has been The Belt. I had all the little dubbies. Let me know what else you want to see me try. Stay tuned for all the great pilot episodes we got coming up this month. we got Eat the Menu Michelin series later. In the link below, if you want to join us uh, for one of our touring shows, do it. It's going to be sick. If you want to join our Patreon, we'd love for you to. It's a great community, and some of our patrons help us do the mods. Thanks to those who are modding the Twitch channel right now as we speak. And that's it. Thanks to all of our guests. Thanks to Desiree running the show, even with a foot. Give it up for Desiree's foot, everybody! <laughs> We'll see you next time. Bye.